China, home to 1.39 billion people and growing. Globalization has positively shaped China as seen by their high GDP growth. Government intervention has played a significant role in making China the biggest exporter since 2009. Their prominent export include IT goods such as mobile computing devices. China's IT industry has an annual growth of 17.8% and it's made up of four subsectors. China has been the top manufacturer in the world since 2013 due to skilled workers with low labor costs. Foreign investors have better access in China because of low tariff, government incentive and world-class infrastructure, making it an attractive manufacturing hub for investors. China is one of the top largest mobile phone manufacturers with 16 brands produced domestically. 1% of mobile phones are produced in China. Joint Ventures is the most viable to enter China's mobile manufacturing industry. Joint Venturing not only has lower startup costs, but has greater access to massive market and any existing distribution networks. Joint venturing is most likely to gain government approval, especially in China, there is strict regulation. Unsuccessful joint ventures occurs when unrealistic goals that are unclear and not aligned with both parties. Language barrier and cultural differences too contribute to failure of joint ventures. Ownership advantage is a competitive advantage a firm holds over its competitors when investing in China. The investing firm's brand reputation, strategic resources such as technology and size that grants economic of scale. Personalization advantage is valid when firms are better functioning in China through wholly owned operation. Language barriers, lack of sufficient knowledge on China's market and strategic distribution channels make it difficult for NMCs. Local advantage refers to competitive advantage gained by producing in China the host country. Investors are attracted to China for their highly skilled and cheap labor force. However, the cost of labor is rising. Additionally, China has a poor regulation pertaining to infringement of intellectual property. Since one of the three elements is absent, internalization in China will be unfavorable. Therefore, joint venture is more feasible to enter China's IT industry. In China's IT industry, Joint venture is preferred, and to be successful, they have to choose their Chinese business partner wisely to consciously safeguard their intellectual property. Lastly, constantly participate in the operations of their business. With an increase of successful investments, China will maintain its reputation as the top destination for foreign direct investments.